and I'm acting chair of the department while Sonia's away and I want to welcome you to this first APS event, the little meet and greet. Uh, I hope you all have a good time at it. I'd like to give a greeting and say a few words about the upcoming year. The um, last year, of course, everyone knows was very difficult. We had the COVID uh, disruptions throughout the whole university and the rest of the world. Um, our department suffered the tragic uh, loss of Wahid Hussein. Um, we're still suffering from that. Uh, we all miss him terribly, um, but we will go on. This coming year, uh, we hope things will be better. There'll be some in-person classes, of course, and that should improve things. Uh, despite the troubles last year, the APS put on a number of wonderful events, guest speakers and get togethers. And I hope this year they'll continue that tradition and have many more. Uh, the department's going to be very busy. Uh, we're doing three searches, ethics, political philosophy, and philosophy of mind. Uh, so that'll be exciting. Um, I hope you will be able to watch the Zoom uh, interview talks, the job talks that the candidates uh, present. Um, and I hope you have a really good year with your studies. So I think uh, that's all for me. So I'll say goodbye from beautiful Nova Scotia and I uh, hope you all have a great Thanksgiving weekend. So, so long. Thank you, Rohan, for sharing that. And thank you to everybody coming. Uh, so uh, as of right now, now we can have uh, the faculty members in attendance uh, one by one, uh, just briefly introduce themselves. So their names, um, maybe how long they've been with the department, um, their, uh, the classes that they're teaching, this year and their area of research interest. And uh, as we go through the list, uh, if you have questions for them, uh, we can ask at the end once everyone's introduced themselves. Uh, so I'll, we'll, I'll start, just I'll use, look at my screen um, and then go, go, go across as I'm looking. So the first, first person that I have on my screen is uh, Professor Hamish Russell. So if you would like to introduce yourself, Sure. Um, I'm Hamish. I am, this is my first year in the department as an assistant professor, although I've been teaching as a graduate student in the department for a few years. And so I've got to know some of you um, across a number of years, which is great to now be seeing you in person finally after this break. Um, I'm teaching political philosophy, a range of different courses. Um, and my own research is, I guess, at the, the intersection of, of ethics and political philosophy. So I think about role morality or kind of how do you act ethically kind of through and in an institution. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. So, uh, so the next person on my list is Professor uh, Josh Brent. Oh hi! I guess I, I I guess I've been unmuted this whole time, uh, or or accidentally muted myself. Uh, anyways, yes, um, I'm I'm uh, Professor Brandt, and uh, this is my fifth year uh, returning to the department. I'm teaching a bunch of classes right now: uh, Intro to Bioethics, Death and Dying, which is a sea level bioethics, and uh, the uh, Socrates Project and Applied Ethics. So there's a lot of exciting, um, you know, in, uh, kind of independent study style projects that that we're um, supervising and, and kind of doing that kind of quasi co-teaching with Rachel. It's, it's, uh, there's two streams of the Socrates project now. Uh, the, the the main stream is any area of philosophy, and then there's another stream for applied ethics. And so that's been very exciting. And if you have questions about what that looks like. Um, Happy to answer those. And yeah, uh, uh, my, my main research area is in ethics, which is why I'm teaching all these, these ethics classes. And 
uh, yeah, my most recent project has been on the, on the subject of forgiveness. So if anyone wants to know about forgiving your enemies or anything like that, I'm happy, happy to answer questions about that. Too. Great, thank you so much, Professor Brent. Uh, so the next person on my list is uh, Professor Doug Campbell. Hi, everyone. Um, this is my first semester with the department at UTSC. I've, I have been a graduate student and a postdoc at the other campuses before. Generally speaking, the areas I teach in are, are in applied ethics. This semester, for instance, I'm doing also a, a, a third year Plato course, but also a, a D level bioethics seminar. Um, and next semester, a uh, uh, B level environmental ethics course. Um, I also teach the ethics of social media, which is something I'm very interested in. I do that at the St. George campus. My research interests are in Plato, especially about the very ancient pre-modern biology, questions like how blood moves throughout the body when you don't know anything about the heart beating. Um, and yeah, I see, I see Aristotle is talking to me in the chat right now, which is a dream come true of mine. Fun things happen here, apparently. Uh, and I'm also, in addition to the regular research I do on uh, ancient biology, I also have a research project on the ethics of social media, which I'm interested, uh, which I'm happy to talk about if people would like to talk about that. Or I can talk about how blood moves without the heart beating. Uh, but thanks. It's nice to meet you all. Great. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to meet you too, Professor Campbell. The next person on my list is Professor Jessica Wilson. Hello, everybody. Um, well, I've been here since 2005. I came here from uh, the University of Michigan with Ben Shelley, my husband. Uh, and uh, we've been, we're, you know, thrilled to be here in Toronto and Canada. And we love UTSC as well. In fact, my mother is moving up here this month. So I'm excited. I'm bringing her up here from the United States. So um, yeah, we made our choice, Canada. <laughs> so um, uh, I'm teaching uh, B99, um, which I teach pretty much every fall, uh, Philosophical Writing and Methodology, which is sort of a foundations course in our program. It's very intensive and lots of writing and grammar, methodology, philosophical argumentation and stuff. But uh, seem, you know, I, I try to make it and I have heard good uh, feedback to the effect that it does in fact provide students with, you know, like a good um, sort of basis of operations for success, uh, you know, competence in uh, writing and also just more generally doing philosophy. Um, I'm also teaching uh, philosophy C60 metaphysics, which I teach as a kind of topics course and I'm sort of uh, overlapping with my research. Uh, I am drafting a book on fundamentality and metaphysical dependence, and that's really the topic of this course. So what we're doing every week is uh, you know, two background readings. So you know, two uh, that are typically not by me and then in class, after we discuss those readings, um, I'm, I'm workshopping a chapter draft. So this has been a really great inspiration <laughs> to uh, get those uh, chapters drafted. And um, it's, it's, it's also really great to get feedback from my students. So I'm um, really enjoying that. This, this spring, I'm going to also be teaching a course that overlaps with some of my research interests, namely history of modern with focus on empiricism. And even though I'm not myself really a historian of modern philosophy, it's, um, you know, really, I feel like contemporary philosophy is very strongly informed by various historical traditions, but especially in my neck of the woods, uh, historians of modern. And I'm, I'm very excited to have uh, a paper forthcoming on a woman who is underappreciated in the history of of modern canon, namely Lady Mary, Mary Shepherd, who I think is, uh, you know, one of the most amazing philosophers I've ever encountered, uh, contemporary or historical. So we'll be focusing on her work in addition to Hume and, and Barclays, the more standard to standard members of the canon. So that's uh, that's kind of what I'm up to now. We've got some other projects going, but uh, again. I'll just stop there <laughs> because we have many other people. Okay, 
Thanks, and great to see you all, and hope to see you in person next semester where you know the plan is get back in, in the classroom. Perfect. Thank you so much, Professor Wilson. Uh, so next is uh, Professor Christian Pfeiffer. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I'm Christian Pfeiffer, and I uh, joined uh, UTSC in 2019. So um, a relatively recent addition, and I mainly teach ancient philosophy uh, at UTSC. So um, because that's also the field I work in. In this semester, I teach the introduction to ancient philosophy, P31, and I basically teach that every year with small tweaks. Um, the idea of that course basically is to give you an overview and a sense of sort of the central debates that. Uh, they had an antiquity about happiness, freedom and necessity, metaphysical questions. And I'm also teaching for the first time this semester uh, the D31 course. And this is on Socrates and the philosophy of Socrates. And I'm really excited about this. Um, and my research is basically also uh, what I teach, though in my research, I focus more narrowly on Aristotle and especially his uh, metaphysics. And um, I just saw in the chat that uh, Jessica's writing course sort of teaches people to write like Aristotle. I think you should uh, make some amendments here, Jessica, and uh, strive for more clarity and expression. <laughs> Point taken. Okay. Yeah. And if there are any questions about ancient philosophy, why study it, and uh, what the content, I'm happy to um, answer all questions as far as I can. Thanks. Thank you so much, Professor Pfeiffer. So next is Professor Julianewski. All right, hi everybody. Um, I'm Julianewski and um, I joined the department, I guess it was in 2012. So it's been a little while. Um, and um, I'm currently teaching, I teach and I work in, in my research, uh, normative ethics and applied ethics mainly. Um, or practical ethics. Um, I also do some work in philosophy of action, and I'm interested in ways in which the two areas, like ethics and philosophy of action, intersect. Um, but I'm currently teaching Phil A11, which is our very large intro to ethics. Um, and it's great because I get the Socrates, some of the Socrates Project students in that in that class um, as TAs and also some grad TAs. And that's pretty fun. And um, you get a lot of, it's exciting because you get a lot of people who've never done any philosophy before and maybe will never do any again, but you get to kind of get at them at least once. Um, and, um, and I'm also teaching Phil CO5 this term, which is ethical theory. Um, and that's a C-level class where we really, it's really like true to its title. We like go through a whole bunch of ethical theories and like global ethical theories and see how, by global, I mean like full accounts of morality and, and see how they compare to each other. Um, so it's kind of like a walk through a bunch, that's most of the course, there's a, a couple other things, but for the, the majority of the course, that's what we do. Um, and, you know, I've also taught a bunch of sort of more practical ethics -y things. Like last term, I did a course on war and morality. And I've also taught environmental ethics. And when I, when I did that, I focused it on climate change. Um, and I've taught like social issues, which we do a bunch of kind of more practical stuff. Like um, we talked about like the ethics of voting. Um, we talked about racial profiling and um, affirmative action and our duties to the poor. Um, so so I like I really like um, uh, more practical topics as well as and, and the ways in which the um, like rich theoretical questions um, influence them. So so yeah, that's I guess all I'll say for now, but happy to take questions. Thank you so much, Professor Nevsky. So next is Professor Elliot Carter. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, yeah, I'm Elliot. I've been teaching in the department since the fall of 2019 now. Um, I teach courses in philosophy of mind, uh, metaphysics, epistemology, and sometimes philosophy of science. Um, 
And my main research interests are in philosophy of mind, and especially issues to do with the perceptual experience of time. So that's something I've thought about quite a bit. Um, this year, I'm currently teaching uh, an introductory course in philosophy of mind. So that's a B-level course, as well as a C-level course in philosophy of mind that focuses on philosophy of perception. Uh, and then in the winter, I'm going to be teaching a C-level course on philosophy of science, um, a B-level course, which is an introduction to uh, metaphysics, and then a C-level course uh, in epistemology. And that's going to be a course about self-knowledge. That is how we know about what's going on in our own mind. So it's kind of a blend of like philosophy of mind issues and epistemology issues, which is something that I'm quite interested in. Um, and I guess that's, uh, that's all I'll say, but happy to take questions. Thank you so much, Professor Carter. Uh, so next is Professor Rachel Bryan. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel, and I've been at UTSC. This is my third year, and I teach courses mainly in ethics and social philosophy. So this semester, I'm teaching the B07 course, which is ethics. We focus that course around this question of how should I lead my life? And we use that question as um, as a lens through which to look at some major ethical theories in the history of Western philosophy and also look at how some contemporary thinkers are drawing from and rejecting aspects of those classical thinkers. Um, I'm also teaching this semester with Professor Brandt, the Socrates Project, which is a lot of fun. We get to... Um, spend time with uh, some excellent undergraduates who are um, and talking, we're talking with them about, about teaching philosophy as they lead tutorials and also about the process of conducting an, in, uh, an independent research program. So that's a lot of fun and I'm learning a lot. Next semester, I'll be teaching topics in ethical theory and I focus that on ethics and the animal. So it's animal ethics um, and also social issues. And the theme of that is boundaries. So what are the philosophical bases of and, implica and ethical implications of the boundaries that we construct around things like nation states, neighborhoods, ecological communities in indigenous land, um, and things like that. My own research is in ethics and applied ethics, specifically animal ethics and environmental ethics. And I work on questions of the ethics in conservation biology. Thank you so much, Professor Bryant. So uh, next is Professor Michael Blesey. Hi everyone, I'm Mike. Um, I was teaching last year at the uh, downtown campus and this is my first year teaching um, at Scarborough. My research is mostly in early modern philosophy, Kant and phenomenology. And in particular, I'm interested in issues of the self and selfhood um, especially how thinkers in the phenomenological tradition like Heidegger and Husserl uh, are in dialogue and kind of appropriate and rework the theories of self you find in people like Descartes, Hume, and, and Kant. And the two courses I'm teaching this term are Intro to Early Modern, and we're doing some Francis Bacon, some Descartes, and uh, of course, the beginning of Spinoza's Ethics. I'm also doing Phenomenology of Race and Gender, and that of course is both simultaneously an introduction to phenomenology. So we read some Husserl, his Cartesian meditations. And then from there we're bouncing uh, to read uh, some Sartre and some Fanon and some contemporary phenomenologists who talk about what it's like to be, be a certain gender. And then next term I have uh, human nature, um, which I've kind of tweaked to make it kind of more, uh, you know, squarely in my wheelhouse. Uh, so it's going to be human nature from Kant to Foucault. And then I'm going to do a critique of pure reason course. Um, I really like teaching UTSC. I, the, the students I just find are just so engaged and they're so excited. And um, yeah, I've been having a really good time so far. Great to hear. Thank you so much, Professor Blesey. Uh, so, so I... Yeah, I believe uh, that's all for the faculty uh, currently in attendance. <laughs>
So if uh, anyone has any questions that they would like to ask the faculty members or if any of the faculty members themselves have anything, maybe they would want to you know, add to their introductions or say a little bit more about the material, maybe sell one of the courses that they're teaching uh, next semester. Um, this is the perfect opportunity <laughs> to do so. Uh, we'll get this to as much of the student body as possible. Um, and <clears throat> otherwise, we can start uh, the Q&A, but yeah, just feel free to raise your hand if you have anything you'd like to add. Um, I see a quest is that I don't know if this is for now. There's a question in the chat directed at me. Should I answer that now? Or are we waiting for a different? Okay, we can start with the question or, and answer portion. Uh, absolutely. So I'll just ask. Oh, no, I just I'm just confused about what we're doing next. Like I can, I can definitely hold my horses. <laughs> if we have a, a yeah, okay. Hand. So I think um, Professor Blasey had his hand up. So it, but before we go into the Q&A, would you do you have anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I was saying, um, um, I actually am really uh, disappointed. I actually didn't get to take uh, Christian's and Nick Stang's Aristotle uh, and Kant course a little while back. That that sounds very interesting. And I was very close. So I just want to let you know, um, that's I, I would like to see more of those kind of, uh, you know, in dialogue, two experts coming together and talking about common issues. I think that's really, really great. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah. Uh, we've been uh, talking about an Aristotle and Hegel course, so uh, maybe this will be coming at some point in the future. But it would have been good to have you in the course, Michael. Uh, Nick is the hylomorph guy, so, but um, I find, so I don't know if this is true of other people, but I didn't think I was interested in medieval philosophy and I didn't think I liked ancient philosophy as much as I did and Stella, until I started reading Kant. And then Kant is just this gateway into all that stuff. And now I find I'm having to go back and read all these medieval thinkers and issues I didn't think were interesting, like form matter distinctions I'm actually very curious in now. So um, yeah, it tends, to, it tends to go back to Aristotle a lot. 